Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Inkenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be doing another swatching slash first impression video. Today we're gonna be swatching the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and the two shades that come in this dyad. I wanna say there are two shades in this, are Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So just in doing my pre-filming research, I went and looked on the website um, just to see how much these are individually sold for because I actually got this as a Christmas present. It was sold in a gift set. I believe it came from JCPenney or Sephora, but it had a bunch of other everyday essentials and the total kit, I think it sold for $28, but it had other things like clear brow gel and it had a Marc Jacobs eyeliner as well as um, some mascara and other things but this came in a kit so i didn't purchase this individually again it was a gift and when i was looking for it on the website i didn't see it anymore so i'm assuming that this is now discontinued but other fenty highlighters do retail for 36 dollars. so jumping right into the packaging you guys can't really see it but in person it's this iridescent type of color it looks um like an off-white on camera but in person it has you know the purple and the sparkly reflex to it once you open it up it does have a mirror inside and then on the bottom you have the dyad of shades or you have the two shades duo duo is the word that i'm looking for so this shade over here this is mean money and then this shade over here the golden shade um this is hustla baby so initially when looking at mean money i thought that it was a translucent powder just because it's not as shimmery as hustla baby and i'm concerned that it's probably going to show up a little bit ashy just because i am of a deeper skin tone i think that it would be better suited for someone of fair skin. So starting from right here, this is Hustla Baby, and I definitely like this a lot more. This is definitely darker skin, woman of color friendly. Um, it's a nice golden shade, and it's something that doesn't get too dramatic too fast. Both of the shades, when I was swatching them with my finger, um, you can definitely build up the intensity so you can go as subtle or as dramatic as you want. On the bottom here, we have Mean Money, and that is more of an opal shade. Definitely, as I suspected, it's not really, I would say it's not really something for uh, deeper complexions. It's really ashy. Just looking at it on my skin, it looks like some translucent powder that I forgot to brush off. So now I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild highlighting brush and apply this to the apples of my cheekbones. It's a pretty dense brush, as you guys can see. On this cheek, I'm going to be applying Hustla Baby, and then on this cheek, I'm going to be applying Mean Money. So Mean Money to my left cheek, and then Hustla Baby to my right cheek. So this is a nice, like subtle, this is a nice subtle glow. In person, it definitely looks more blinding than on camera. Um, but I'm not mad at that. I dipped into the pan twice to apply this, and I really, really like it. And I only dusted a very light amount. So even though I dipped into the pan twice, I started off with a very, very light amount. And that's why I chose to use this dense brush because a little bit did go a long way. So I really, really do like this. So now onto my left cheek, I'm going to apply Mean Money. So as I suspected, Mean Money, it serves more as a translucent powder. You guys can kind of see on the apple of my cheekbone, there's a little bit of glow, but for the most part, it toned down any of that excess shine you guys might have seen from my uh, foundation on my face. So definitely wouldn't see myself using that shade at all, because as I just said, it looks really ashy, and I already have a go-to translucent powder, and the intended use of this product is not to be a translucent powder. But I definitely do like the glow of Hustla Baby, and I can see myself using that all throughout the summer, um, but definitely using it right now, because I like to use more of like rose gold type of tones of highlighters for the summertime, but this is nice for wintertime, because I like to use those more golden highlighters right now. When swatching on my wrist, the highlighting powder is very, very soft. Um, super pigmented you don't have to dig into the pan to pick up a lot of product um, so that's definitely good we always want products that live up to their price point you can use a little bit but it's gonna last you for a long time I definitely like that the highlighter came with a mirror inside especially if you're gonna use this to be traveling you it's not always feasible to be taking a hand mirror with you so it's nice to know that I can just toss this in there I know that I have a highlighter but I also have a mirror so that was a nice little touch honestly I'm not like super wowed by it I like that it's super pigmented However, I have other go-to highlighters. I would only see myself using one shade, and even at that, I have shades that are similar to Hustla Baby. So this would be, once I ran out of those other shades, then I would reach for this. So yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. If you guys want to see any other Fenty Beauty products reviewed on my channel, definitely comment them down below. Um, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, bring a friend next time, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.